Welcome to I Innovate, a podcast about innovation and entrepreneurship. So, Heidi, you've mentioned before that one of the greatest strengths of the Valley is an environment that nurtures taking risks mm-hmm. and also accepting failures mm-hmm. and learning from them. Mm-hmm. So for you personally, what were some of the biggest failures that you experienced or that you observed and what did you take away from them? Well, gosh, after 48 years of life, I can. I, I, it would take a long time to go over all those failures. Um, I think that... Um, when I, you know, I, I can think about times when it was really critical for something to happen, and sometimes it did, and sometimes it didn't. I think for those times when it did happen, I think part of the understanding and part of the excitement of being an entrepreneur is it's it's not like you can hide in the big corporation and and cash your paychecks. And there were a lot of times, especially in the beginning of T Maker, where closing that deal meant not going out of business. And so you get incredibly motivated when you think, if I don't get this purchase order, I can't keep this company alive. Mm-hmm. Um, incredibly motivating. Sometimes you do have failures. Sometimes, you know, as, I, as we discussed a little bit earlier, hiring the right and wrong person. I mean, that to this day, it becomes the biggest one because you can't know 100% if it's the right person. But I'd argue three, six months into the job, you pretty much know. And the biggest mistake people make is they continue to hope that the person's going to come around. And I'd say... 99 times out of 100, your gut's probably right. And the person, if they're not right for the job, you're doing yourself and them a favor to just cut your losses and move on. Um, I would say that those are definitely cases when I've realized after the fact that because we didn't put the right person in place, something important didn't happen. And then you finally get the right person in place. It's really incredible what a difference it makes. And so I do think you have to you have to learn from your mistakes and when you end up in a situation you do need to spend some thoughtful analysis and introspection about why did we get there why did this happen what when what was the day i i came home and said this isn't working and then how long did it take before i took action and one of the things i'm trying to do is is shorten that cycle between realization and action because with most of these small companies you just don't have the time you can't wait six months to see how it works out you can't test market in you know someplace for six months you gotta you gotta make really quick decisions and you gotta act on them and I'm still learning on that one Thank you.